Hello, my little gravy boats. So today I have a few things to show you guys. First, since we are on our island right now, I wanna show you what's going on with our house. So this is what I've got so far. It takes so much copper. <laughs> so it's definitely going to be a slow build, but I got this going. I'm extending the roof a bit and I'm thinking, mm, I still don't know where I wanna cut it off. Maybe this block and come across here. I'm not sure if I want to use the logs or if I want to stick with these spruce stairs because I put them here and I really like how that looks and then having the copper stairs on the top. I'm really looking forward to when all of this oxidizes because it's going to look so much better. Right now it's just kind of a weird, I don't even know how to explain that, <laughs> but it's very, uh, it's very interesting looking at the moment. The other thing is I'm collecting heads this season. So mob heads and player heads. So these are all the mob heads that I've got so far. Some I got myself and some that I got from other people that were willing to sell and or just give them to me. And then these are player heads that I've collected so far. We've got Ice Triss, uh, Zombie, Sin Angel, and Snow Frog. So those are the ones I've got so far. I haven't gotten James's head yet. He's being stubborn and doesn't want me to kill him for some reason, but I will get it trust me. <laughs> uh, the other thing that I wanted to update you guys on is about our axolotls and I'm heading over there. Hold on. Give me a second. We're almost there. <laughs> we have so many now. I've been breeding them up trying to get a blue one but they're extremely rare so we've got tons of pink ones. I did find two brown ones so that's awesome. So now the only one we need is the blue one. And the only way that you can get that is through breeding. So we're just going to have so many oxalotls by the end of the season. These guys, I will be moving uh, to their own little sanctuary area. I'm thinking over here on this island section that we've got going on right here. Because there are some turtles that I see pop up over here. So I'm going to encase this in glass and make it a little turtle axolotl sanctuary. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, the other stuff that I have, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work. And that brings me on to the next thing that I have to share with you guys. This is James's plot. Okay. <laughs> so we weren't planning on basing together because he always takes over my builds and doesn't let me build anything because he has a certain vision. <laughs> but we are going to actually base together. So this is going to be our main base. And the island that I've got over there is just kind of my own thing. And I'm going to think of it as my summer home, if you will. <laughs> it's going to be very much different to this base. And I'm going to show you guys why. So initially... James was just doing this. I helped him a little bit, but he did most of this himself. He's converting a village and he was just gonna stick with the original villager palette with the oak and cobble and all of that. But instead we're going to convert it into this nether underworld kind of village. So I'm super excited and he talked me into helping <laughs> <laughs> and actually basing here and I am I'm really excited for this it's gonna be like a complete night and day kind of thing over here for our main base is going to be nether themed and really dark and it's gonna be so cool and then on the other island is going to be very colorful and bright and it's just gonna be really awesome I think so I was gathering some things to play around with a block palette. We were kind of doing some stuff here with this, but I'm thinking, well, James started with this and he's he wanted to do this deep slate here and then use these crimson, uh, the crimson stem blocks. And I'm just gonna start playing around with some other stuff and seeing what I can come up with and I'll show you guys obviously along the way what I'm what I'm doing. But I think he was saying for the paths he wanted to do the basalt blocks. And I told him I also really like the deep slate tiles. 
they're really dark and they look really nice. So we're thinking we've got a couple ideas. So I'm excited to see how this all turns out. I'm thinking it's going to be really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with some block palettes and stuff and I will show you guys what I've got. All right, guys. So this is what I've got going on so far. I want to use these warped roots, but I don't want it to be super symmetrical. I don't know. I just don't, I don't feel like it's supposed to be symmetrical 100% if that makes sense. So I have one here. I tried putting one in the middle and making it a little longer than one here, but it just didn't look right. Too symmetrical. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the other thing is I don't, I don't think I like the leaves. I thought I might, but I do not. That is not a good look. And I know I'm mining these, but it's silk touch, so it's what I got. <laughs> um, I think we've got more of this nether wart block in this chest here. Yes, we do. Okay. So we could put this here like that, maybe? Something like that, maybe? And I'm thinking one like that. Yeah. And then we'll get rid of that. Oh, well, it's going to turn red, isn't it? Because I know I placed this one, but I think it turned red. I don't know. That was weird. But yeah, this is what I've got going on so far. Don't pay attention to what's on the inside. <laughs> All right. And this is what it looks like in the daytime. So I'm liking this a lot. The dark part of my soul is very happy. <laughs> I can't wait to see what this is all going to look like when it's all been converted like this. It's going to be crazy. I'm like really excited. Now, the other thing that I wanted to play around with that I forgot to do because I'm smart like that. Okay, I wanted to see what this would look like. Mm, I think it matches too well with the walls since it's all like they're both deep slate yeah i think it matches a little bit too well so yeah we're not gonna do that i'm gonna take this out we're definitely going to play around with the ground like what block we want to use for paths and stuff this isn't bad it's got like a blue tinge to it and it's different enough from the dark deep slate but the other thing also is blackstone which I don't know if I have enough. Hello? I don't know if I have enough to do this whole thing to see what it'll look like. That's also blue tinged. I don't know. We're going to play around with it some more and see what we like the best. And, oh, oh goodness, I need to replace that. There we go. So I'm going to head on over to the starter town because I want to show you guys what's been going on over there. There was a competition on the server for who could build the best build, basically, I guess. And the competition ends in about 12-ish hours. So it's not quite over yet. I'm not sure. There's a couple people that still have to build some things, but they might not make it for the competition part. But I'm really liking how it's looking so far, and I just... I really want to show it off, so I hope that's okay. So I'm going to fly on over there, and I will meet you guys there. All right, guys, we're approaching, and this is what it looks like from above. So I'm going to go ahead and land, and then I'll give you guys a little tour. Okay, so I'm going to give this to you as a perspective of coming out of the nether portal. Okay, so here we go. We're coming out of the portal. Oh, yes. There's flowers everywhere. <laughs> but this is what the outside of the wall looks like. And we'll come up here. So the wall was made by Istris and Zombie, and I really like the wall. It's very, very nice. I think what we're going to do first since we're in here is I'm going to take you up top and give you the top side view. So this is the top of the wall. I'm going to hop, and this is what it looks like from up here. It looks really crazy, and I love it. Okay, let's go down. Okay, and then this is the inside. So part of the competition rules was to make sure that no mobs could spawn in here. So that's why they have this gate closed, which I think looks really cool. And then obviously those little entrances there. So we'll walk around in here. And then another fun thing is there's some holes in the wall to make it look weathered and 
I guess, decayed in a way. So there's like patchwork type things and like a couple other different entrances to get in. So I added the path. My job for in here was doing the path. <laughs> and I added lighting along the path to help with the mob spawning. And then zombie did, uh, as well as the walls, zombie and ice were responsible for the lighting. So zombie put the lights along the walls and then all of these little lamppost things and then put flowers and stuff, which is really nice. And then this over here is the motel, which Bread did, and it's awesome. I love this motel, it's so cool. So there's rooms here, and it's for when people join the server and they're just starting out, they can come to the starter town and there's beds in here to sleep and there's some supplies and stuff if you need. So we've got the motel and then over here is the wheat farm. I believe there's some other things in here besides wheat, but I'm not quite sure. All I see is wheat for right now. <laughs> But Dee and her husband Valfour did this and it looks really nice as well. So you can get some wheat for bread and stuff like that for starting food. There's some trees here if you need some wood. Uh, the other thing that I was responsible for other than the roads was the town center. And I thought doing a nice little water feature would be cool. So I made this fountain and then I thought we needed a mascot for this season. So this is Lottie. She's a cyan oxlotl and she is our server mascot and she's permanently living here in the fountain. <laughs> so the other builds that are here are the cow farm, which was made by Husky and it looks really nice as well. This I believe is going to be the map room, which AJ is building and I'm excited to see how that turns out. We have an enchanting section right here and I can't remember who built this. I think it was Penta Ninja and this is a cool little build as well. I like this and we've got all of our enchanting needs inside. There's some lapis and books and stuff and I also think that this at night just looks really cool. Like you can see all of the lights and I don't know words. <laughs> It just looks nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'm going to leave it here. If you liked it, don't forget to demolish the like button gently. It's very important. And if you wish, you can become a little gravy boat and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.